and welcome to Dartmoor Stomps, the last in the series. And we are here today um, at Newbridge, uh, doing the Newbridge walk. This is a new one for me. I say a new one, I've done this walk before down there, but I've never done this particular way on it. We start off in the car park, which you can find if you come off uh, the A38, um, just past the Ashburton turn in, I kind of head over the moor on that. It's signposted for um, Princetown, I think. Go down there and you'll find it, you'll come across it. Park in here and uh, first of all we go across the road and we head down here which is signposted Deeper Marsh. A quarter of a mile. Whoa, hell. What's on here? Unstable masonry. Should pay attention. What a lovely spot. Anyway. Whoop. So we're heading under the arch. Down through here. Ooh. Got a few options here. After the bridge, walk along the riverside path fenced on the left. That's up here. Okay, right, after that, let's do the basics. Uh, three miles, uh, gradient level to start, followed by a fairly steep uphill and an easier descent. Severity easy at first, then moderate, but with a steep uphill section. Time, one and three quarter hours. Uh, parking, car park at the start, honesty box, and suggested donation of a pound and there's public toilets at the beginning as well. Uh, nearest food, Tavistock Inn at Poundsgate. I've eaten there, it's lovely. Uh, cafes and shops and pubs in Ashburton. So yeah, I I kind of, I remember a little while ago parking up in that car park. I didn't know it was called Newbridge. And uh, did a walk the other way down along the river. It's very, very pretty. I wonder if we're gonna end up going back around down there. Quite possibly. So weather, again, still not good, but we have a little window today, uh, which is closing this afternoon. So hopefully we'll be all right. We'll be lucky. All right, so let's cross a small stream, which is here and go right up by a fence. Deeper Marsh is one of the few areas on Dartmoor where the brimstone butterflies thrive. Although bright yellow, the underside of their folded wings provides such excellent camouflage that they become invisible when at rest. Ooh. Don't know whether your cat says we're getting a bit of elevation. The whole area was once part of the Manor of Spitchwick. Uh, the best remembered owner was a certain Dr. Blackall who lived at Spitchwick in the late 19th century. Oh, where are we going now? Across the road, uh, the pass climbed by the river and then bears right, dropping fairly steeply back down uh, towards an open grassy area. Oh. Wow. Look at that. A favourite picnic spot. Oh, this is Deeper Marsh. Okay. This is Deeper Marsh, which is not marshy at all, but nice, easy turf beside the River Dart. It is along here where you may be lucky to spot the brimstone butterflies in spring and summer. I'll keep an eye out. The males are bright yellow, although the females are a paler colour altogether. Follow the river around to the left and cross a slight depression, which sometimes fills with water short detour on the path to the left here will bring you to the rather overgrown remains of an Iron Age pound. This was probably to protect livestock from predators. Otherwise, continue with the river on your right. Okay, that's easy enough. It's a bit boggy boggy, just a little bit. Ooh, 
Wow, did not expect this. Old rope swing over there. The water here is like red. I guess it's uh, iron. Oh, I bet this is beautiful on a really hot day. Wow. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Look at the colour of that. Stones in the water, that is just utterly beautiful. It makes me wish I brought my camera. I think I'm going to have to at some point. Oh. Lovely, 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 lovely. Yeah, I think the weather's going to be kind. I can feel a warmth building. So we're just carrying on with the river on our right under these majestic oak trees. Okay, this is the little depression he was on about. Just hop over it. <gasps> What's that? I'm just gonna get a shot of this. Isn't that beautiful? Up here, I saw a big, like, a sort of yellowy, orangey bird. I don't think there's many chances I'm going to see him again, but... Wow. What could that have been? It was like, um, sort of jackdaw size, but it was, it was like red, goldy, sort of, uh, almost like brass coloured. If you know, do leave something in the comments and let me know. Uh, right, anyway, I think that's where we can go to the pound. I'm not that interested in stones, as you know. So I think we'll carry on down here. I'll keep an eye out for that bird. Maybe there'll be another one. This is proper magical, isn't it? Look at this. We've only just started, but well done, John. This is an excellent choice for, for a grand finale. Beautiful. Oh, and I can see some butterflies frolicking. Oh, wouldn't it be good if I get a shot of one? I'll have to shut up, I think. That's what nature uh, filmmakers do, don't they? They sit in one place and don't say a word. Okay, so as we meet a minor lane, which is here, and then we turn right. So continue with the river on our right. Just before the two gatehouses, turn sharp left by several big boulders. Keep an eye out for that. Wow. Yeah, it's a lovely view, isn't it? Beautiful. Cut the boulders there, but no gatehouses yet, so I'll carry on. I wonder if I'm sorry, right, I mean, sorry, turn right here. Just before the oh, just before the two gatehouses, turn sharp left by several big boulders. Okay. Now that's a couple of gatehouses so maybe we were supposed to turn sharp left up here 
There is no footpath sign here, although it is still on the route of the two Moors Way. Oh! Okay, yeah, it goes up the hill there. Alrighty. The gatehouses are at the bottom of the drive, which leads up to Spitchwick Manor, once the home of Dr. Blackall. The footpath climbs gently at first alongside a stone wall and a fence. The gradient increases as the path veers to the left onwards and upwards through the bracken in the summer months to reach Lee Tor. This is a good point to catch your breath and see the views behind of Top Tor and Pill Tor in the general direction of Widdicombe. Slightly to the left of them is the Tower of Lewisden Church, where Dr. Blackall is buried. Okay, so we're just climbing up here, and eventually we're going to have some views. Oh, I'd still love to know what that bird was, you know. follow it up there or oh, let's have a look at first alongside the wall and the fence okay I think I'm gonna follow it up here it does seem to go up there but there's a there's a wall there anyway so oh my word okay I guess we'll follow it up I'm going to leave this rolling just in case we see some majestic butterflies or something. There's a lot of all sorts of wonderful things flying around. Yeah, look at that. I'm not sure if I got that or not. But I wonder if that's it. Is that the magic butterfly they're talking about? All right, up or down? Uh, this way, I think. Ah. I can see like a, like a big lump of rocks on a hill, which I'm guessing is maybe the tour. Oh, I just keep stopping to look at that view, look at it. That is beautiful. What a wonderful part of the world. Oh, look, baby apples. Beautiful. Whoa. So this is Lee Tor. Wow. <laughs> That's strange. Beautiful view. But we're going to get that view from up here. Oh, this is like unlike any tour I've seen. I'm not sure it is possible to get up there actually. Maybe if you are a mountain goat. Let's try. I might be able to see some like stepping stones type arrangements up here. And I'm getting attacked by flies. Ooh. Hey, look at that. Whoa. That is stunning. Utterly beautiful. The 
be quite cool to get over there, but I'm not sure it's possible without equipment. <laughs> oh God, don't look down. Whoa, that's a long old way. That is fantastic. So that. And then do a little bit of a whoop. That's a technical term. Uh, whoop. Done. The path climbs a little more to reach the main Ashburton to Princetown Road. Right, I'm hearing the occasional road noise. And indeed, here we are. Okay. Cross the road. Bear right on a grassy track to meet a tarmac lane. Okay, I think this is a tarmac lane or something, or elite or something. No, it's a tarmac lane. Behind now is the distinctive conical summit of Buckland Beacon where the Ten Commandments can be found carved on two huge granite slabs. But that is another story. Conical Beacon. Oh, I'm not seeing that. Anyway, bear right on the grassy track to meet a tarmac lane. Turn left down the lane. Right, turn left down the lane with views ahead over the dark valley. Yeah, that's the dark valley, isn't it? Ah, so I wonder is that conical thing behind these trees? That's probably what's gone on there. Okay. On a left hand bend beside the stone wall, continue straight along a, grass, a grassy track. Follow this track with a stone wall and a fence on the left. An open moorland on the right. Oh, is that it? Yeah, there's a little, I don't know, you might not see it with the camera, but there's a conical sort of pimple on the top of that hill. I bet that's it. I bet that's what that is. Where you can go and brush up on your Ten Commandments. I think basically now we're just walking down, heading back to the car park. Um, what a beautiful walk. And indeed, what what a beautiful way to finish um, what has been just a fantastic journey, uh, doing all the walks. <laughs> I remember my first video, I said, I don't know if I'll get around to doing them all. I was hedging my bets, but no, I've done them all. In uh, Walks for All Ages, 20 circular walks on Dartmoor by Mr. John Noblet. And I've enjoyed every one of them. Um, fantastic and it's been a really good excuse and a motivational thing to get out and see all this amazing countryside we're so blessed with in Devon uh, and around Dartmoor uh, it's just good for you isn't it? it's good for your soul to get out in nature and just do a bit of walking and you know especially today especially this week um, we've just had our um, EU referendum thing and the country's turned into a bit of a nasty place. Hang on a minute. On a left bend, beside a stone wall, continue straight along a grassy track. Down here, innit? Follow this track with a stone wall and fence on the left and open moorland on the right. Okay. Yeah, so this week it's, um, the world doesn't feel such a happy place. Um, don't want to get too much into it but you know it's good to come out in nature and realize actually it's all nonsense it's all this this is where we are um and this will all be here long after we're gone um oh okay this is getting a bit confusing i'm just gonna check the tome ignore two subpass with a fence on the left and over more than Okay, there is a fence down there. I guess that's going to carry on up 
Ah, we might have turned off a little early, maybe. Yeah, I think we're just carrying on up here. But this walk's been, ah, um, oh, truly lovely. Down by the river there, down at the uh, River Dart. What a place. You could just uh, park in the car park and literally two minutes, plonk down a blanket and just enjoy a little bit of heaven. Oh, speaking of which, look at these. Lovely. It's a bit stony for a while. Ignore two side pass, but fork at the left corner. Keep close to the stone wall and fence on the left to drop more steadily downhill. Okay, so we're just gonna follow this. Alrighty. I think the fly count might be a little bit less away from the dark. I don't know if that's true, feels like it's true. Anyway, yeah, beautiful. And uh, that tour, very, very different to every tour I've seen. It's just a wonderful little place. A lovely walk. Busy, a lot of people around doing their dog walking and stuff. Um, but a great walk to finish on, really nice. But yeah, I do recommend it. Get out, get into nature, get some air. Be in the real world for a little bit. This is the real world. That's one thing I've learned on these walks. Google weather cannot be trusted. Um, okay, this is going down here now. It seems to be with Google weather, if it thinks it's gonna rain at any point in a 24 hour period, then it will put a rainy icon on the weather for the day. Because <laughs> um, although it's been a bit overcast today, it's been all right, there's been some lovely sunny spells. So what's next? I got ideas, there will be more stomps. Um, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit, I think. It's been lovely doing all this Dartmoor stuff because actually, uh, it's good to know a bit more about where you live, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I'm going to mix it up with a little bit of uh, other environs. I think this kind of length, though, I'm not going to start doing massive treks because I think it's a bit long for the video, isn't it? Um, but yeah, watch this space. Keep catching glimpses of those butterflies. Oh, no, that's not one. Okay, right, turn left at the flat area. Don't think we're there yet, or are we? This might be a bit flat. Follow an easy and level woodland tracks through a nature reserve to meet a minor lane. What do you reckon? Would you call this a level area? No, I don't think so. Turn left at the flat area and follow the easy and level woodland track. That sounds all a bit flatter than it is here, really. following this fence I think mm. okay a little bit going on going on faith here because <laughs> there was a bit where it went left there but it looks too overgrown to be a path um, oh Oh, this has got to be it, isn't it? Turn left at the flat area and follow the easy and level woodland track. 
This is it, definitely. Cool. Flies. Ah, bit of a buzzy section, this. And oh, I've been down here before. This is where... Um, where I came before, where we, walk, where we walked from the car park and went right instead of left. It's a butterfly, isn't it? <laughs> okay. After a while, turn right onto the lane to get back to the car park. Splendid. So I can put the tome away now. So if you've enjoyed this walk, or indeed any of the series, any of the stomps, uh, please do subscribe, like and comment. And thank you very much to everybody who has. Um, it's very, very, uh, very much appreciated. And it all helps, as I always say. Um, I don't know what will be next. We'll see. You'll probably be as surprised as I am to find out. Hopefully the weather will take a bit of a turn for the better. Um, whatever we end up doing. Ooh. Straight on, I think. I think it is straight on. In fact, I think I remember this from coming here last time. Came out there. Ooh, the horses. Enjoying the weather. I'm reminded of the alpacas. <laughs> that was a bit random, wasn't it? Oh, actually, I was just walking along thinking about all the things I've seen doing these stomps. Like that, that wonderful little tranquil spot at Haytor. Uh, lastly, that weird bit where it's all sort of there, little tunnels and like almost, almost like a canal thing behind, beside you. Really odd. The cave. Burrator, I've had Burrator walk, the whole walk was just whoa, didn't know any of that was there. And the ice factory <laughs> in the middle of the moor, utterly bonkers. Yeah, there's a lot to see. This bit's been quite a little jam. I'm still fairly sure we're on the right track. Oh, I can see a road coming down over there. And indeed, I think this, this joins the road just up ahead. Now, I'm pretty sure you can carry on walking down there. But as we're following the book, I'm not going to. We'll do it as, as you would read it. And I can see the car park. Splendid. Well, I can see an ice cream van as well. Hmm. Might have to patronise that. Doesn't sound right, does it? You put the ice cream in the cone. <laughs> Sorry, me. Anyway, oh, anyway, I will see you again with something new. In the meantime, enjoy your stomping. And uh, yeah, look after yourself and cheers. <laughs>